it's, it kind of like it wants to it, it, rotate. It, yeah, it does. It lets you like turn it around nicely. Oh, what's the something is something? Is wrong. Might be a mud guard. Yeah. We'll have a look in a bit once it will come off. It'll be hot and as we were waiting, waiting in traffic it all cooled down and but Yeah. No pr probably that, that that's the case because you generate so much heat through it. Yeah. That it uh yeah you heat up the, the brakes and oh. nice. That shouldn't be like that. <laughs> and one you yeah. already torqued up, right? Yeah. I think I cool. need to tighten it up. Oh, one more. Yeah. Yeah, they're all loose. Yeah, I think I might check all of them on all yeah, wheels. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Is it bad? I don't know. It's a little bit of play in the drive shaft, but well, I guess it's... of the story. Don't buy a Tesla. <laughs> Those are your words, because if I say this, I'm going to say like, oh, Polestar paid you to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Sandy View for Nürburgring. Today we did a lap together with Joe in his Tesla Model Y. I don't know why, but we did. Okay, well, very bad joke, but yeah. Um, yeah, it is a long range version. How many how many powers it has? 380 or something. Okay. Something like that. Something like that. Around two tons, around and then some some newton meters here and there. Yep. For the rest, completely bone stock car with Hankook Ventus something Eco tires. S1 Evo 3. S1 Evo 3 EV. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this means for EV, lowest resistance possible, lowest grip possible, therefore, for longer range. Uh, something that you will see also on the lab that we did. For the more completely stock, as mentioned, this means the brakes are, well, yeah, you need to take it easy unless you, you want to end up in the wall when they go overheated. So, um, yeah, it was a nice and easy lap. Anything else we forgot to say? No. It was no. Fun. It was fun. So, it was fun. I would say enjoy the lap. So, what's the setup we're running for all the Tesla geeks? It doesn't have anything I can change. Really? Yeah, it's just a long range. Ah, so it's not like a performance or no, something? No, the performance, I think the Model Y performance doesn't actually even have... Uh, the track mode yet I think right. it's supposed to be maybe coming but yeah it's it would be cool to be able to play with that because you can on the model 3 you can set obviously yeah um, where you want the power to go which is kind of nice because yeah this is true I mean I might be wrong because obviously I'm not like that much into Tesla's but I remember when like I think two years ago I was window shopping for like a model 3 and seeing what all kinds of upgrades that were available for it, especially from like Unplugged Performance and uh, other brands. Um, I saw that many things were similar for Model 3 and Model Y. Yeah. So like suspension, brakes, um, some like steering braces, some all kinds of different braces. So I would expect that it would have been similar, but... Yeah, they, I mean, it's essentially the same car, right? But that's, It is. They, someone went into Photoshop and just sort of... Yeah, yeah, R stretched it. it. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. But I mean, I looked at the model. Oh frame. no, he doesn't know how to use a lap ticket. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, it worked magically. How many kilometers have you done with this car so uh, far? Four and a half thousand. It's not too high. Not not a lot. But you li live longer. Is that your your daily or is your track car? <laughs> 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 it's definitely my daily. <laughs> Although it's the only car that I have that, that I can take on the track right now. Because all the others are broken. Oh no. <laughs> hey, when you're a car guy, you end up with five broken cars and and, sure. uh, and then you kind of... Broken or on the jacks because you're yeah. always building them, rebuilding them. Yeah, well I have the green Mazda. Yeah, I know. And, uh, <laughs> that's basically the silver and out and it needs rust repair. Ah. Uh. And uh, just the Miata things. And I, I just bought a house, so it's like Ooh. I have to focus. Local? On, uh, in in Bad Oh, nice. Yeah. Acceleration is nice. It's similar to the performance, I guess. Yeah, it's okay. No, I mean, we're doing 200 by the compression. Uh, lots of sunlight. Right. Yes. Thank you. Go 
have the track controls on all the time. So you cannot switch it off like the Model 3? No. <laughs> I think you can switch it off in the Model 3 Long Range or the SR Plus. Yeah, in the performance you can switch it off. Yeah. You can even play. You can do the slider and show you like how much you want it or not. Understand, understand. Hey, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that guy behind me just went off as well. Oh. <laughs> Very close to it. Wow. It actually felt like there was something on the track maybe. went just out and it felt indeed that it was like quite slippery with uh, the car before. Yeah, he owned the M3 understeer straight into the curb like I did. Mm. So how does it feel from a light Miata into this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I put new wheels and tires on the on the Miata, yeah. but it's um, it's quite difficult to get to the limit now, and it's, the setup's all wrong for the new Gripier tires. I had Eco tires on it before, uh -huh. but you get like one one good Eco tires on Miata. Yeah, less grip. The problem. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's much more fun, uh, but then the problem is they don't last. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> Sometimes you want to have less grip. That was pushy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I used to, especially on wet days, just come in here and take take the dry line in the wet and have have fun. You were not going sideways. That's no, not allowed. Of course not. No, no, of course no, not. The big picture in my. Yeah. In my uh, lounge is Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised how it's coping with performance because you already just did a lap, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was it was relaxed though. So. Okay, so like within you didn't always trust the battery too much? No, only doing like 150 most of the time, so. Alright. Understeer. <laughs> I'm really just still starting, still getting to grips with how this this car drives. So I would say it's not horrible. No, it's it's surprisingly all right for yeah. for, a for the for the crossover. Scientific. How much will, would it be like two two ton? Or yeah, so? somewhere around, I think one nine. Yeah, because the one, one three is one eight or so. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a bit more expensive. And I think these are even eco tires as well. Yeah, there were some Hankooks, I think. Yeah. <laughs> With not a lot of tread anymore on them. <laughs> After 4,000 kilometers. Uh, well, if you coming. do 4,000 kilometers like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, uh, I think, my fourth or fifth lap in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it kind of like you want to it, it, rotate. It, yeah, it does. It lets you, like, turn it around nicely. Brakes are uh, are done. Not done, but they're not happy. Yeah, that's all right. We got the, the hill to climb now. Yeah, true. No, so, so far so good because I I benchmark it in my head with the Model Three. Yep. And it's roughly the same when it comes to brakes. Here they're gonna get tired uh, because I assume the brakes are completely stuck. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when I drove the Model Three, the stuck one. The brakes were indeed getting tired here, and they would like the battery is gonna start overheating slightly before uh, before mood curve, I think. And the brakes were completely pretty much done by Stein's tractor, as far as I remember. Yeah, if you're pushing it really hard, yeah, I yeah, yeah. try not to push it so hard. No, it was uh, we're not doing the same speeds as I was doing back then with that car, so it's. It, it saves a lot, like the, yeah. the marginal, the small marginal things, they give you a lot of leeway. Yeah, and I don't have the confidence in it, right? It's, it doesn't, it drives all right, but it doesn't really have any any particular feel at all. Yeah. And I guess it's similar with the Model 3, maybe it's better with the suspension stuff, right? Yeah, when you when you modify the car, it, it definitely becomes actually quite potent. I drove recently the, the Model 3 of Atomic. Um, all the performance mods on it and it was really good it's still something you need to get used to the to the steering because it's like 
you know, there's almost no steering input when you come in from a track car, especially yeah. with uh, with a conventional steering, because I believe this is electric or like the steer by yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's, there's really uh, very little feel to it. Yeah. I mean, there's good control, it's direct, but there's a, you don't get feedback through the steering wheel with what's happening through the front wheels. Yeah, exactly. You drive the car by knowing the physics, not by feeling what the car is doing at the moment. Yeah, 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 exactly. And it's, um, it's a different experience. And it makes it harder to push it, but I mean, it's still fun in its own way. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I had stuff, my gout's great thing. <laughs> I mean, I had the, the Equus, and that was also um, kind of dull, um, mm -hmm. but really, really special to drive somehow. If you if you, you felt it when you got a corner exactly right, yeah, that um, it just hooked up and wanted to wanted to throw you through the corner in, in such a nice way. Mm, nice exhaust system, like center pipe on that that three. No, was that three clown car? Cal yeah, clown, clown shoe, clown yeah. shoe. Clown car. <laughs> clown car. This means there's going to be like 20 clowns coming out of the car. <laughs> I'm not sure if 20 people can fit in a Z3, but I mean, it depends. I guess how you slice them up. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing here, you'll notice it does not like compression under <laughs> under braking. Under braking, yeah. yeah. And then followed by a turn in. Is the Flans Garden too? Is always fun. <laughs> Actually, I think just turning it in and then kind of letting it sort itself out is, is the best option. <laughs> Use the weight to put some some uh, some grip down. Yeah, that's the traction control holding me back all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't like it, it's one of these sick cars where it's just like it shouldn't be able to do this like this. No. And I mean, a car in its class, like let alone internal combustion engine car or something, it wouldn't be able to do it. But thanks to just like you know the typical electric benefits of lower center point of gravity and some torque. Um, it does quite a good handling job. Yeah. Because most of the weight is still at the bottom, not on top, although it's a high car. Yeah. yeah. And that, that really helps a lot. Maybe a bit grippier tires, but then you're going to run into suspension problems, you need to have a stiffer suspension, and of course the brakes. So it's a typical thing, but for what it is, I think it's, it's a really nice thing. That's cool. Oh, that's really proper cool. It didn't show us like any battery overheating or something, but I guess that's the only stuff that you get to see with quality performance. Yeah, I, sure. don't, I don't know. If, I've never, I don't think I've ever had the battery overheat. Yeah, it, so. it didn't feel like we were losing lots of power. Then again, we were not pushing it, so it was very nice and cruise lap. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah, cool. Oh, what's the... Something is... Something. Might be a mud car. Yeah, we'll have a look in a bit once <laughs> we come off. But thanks for the slap. No ah, it smells nice. Brakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the car in front. This, this has ah, perfect. This has perfect. Yeah, of course, it's brakes. always the Audi. Audi and the brakes is always horrible. <laughs> yeah. And the front wheels are always bald because of the understeer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 